Hey friends, today I am back to show you how to individually crochet braid. This is perfect for beginners, it's perfect for my divas that aren't great at braiding, and it's also very cost effective. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, make sure you thumbs it up and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hair so soft, silky, and free. I want something just for me. Just for me. All right, so we're gonna jump right into it. I'm starting on freshly shampooed and blow dried hair. So the first thing we want to do is section off our hair. I decided to do five sections, three in the front and two in the back. To prepare for the style, I'm going to be using Talia Wajid's Bamboo Biotin and Basil Hair Growth Oil and I'm going to lightly grease my scalp and do a nice scalp massage. Then I'm going to section off my first braid. I'm going to be using Main Choice's Growth Stimulating Edge Control as well as Murray's Black Beeswax and I'm going to make a little cocktail, take a little scoop, take a little scoop and smooth my section down. Obviously I'm going to start braiding from the roots towards the ends. So if you're not the greatest braider in the world, the good thing about the edge control and the beeswax is it's going to give you a pretty smooth finish. Also you can do twists, individual twists. The number one thing that you want to make sure of is that your sections and your braids or your twists are small enough so they are undetectable when it's time to crochet. So I finished the rest of my braids off camera. I did the same routine for each and every section. I went and took me a little rest, woke up, and this is the result of my braids. This is the sizing, parting, nothing super fancy. Today I'm going to be using Free Tresses 30 inch medium box braids. They were about six or seven dollars a pack. I'll be sure to leave them down in the description box below with some links. Each braid has a loop at the very top of the braid and then this is what the braid looks like and it's already sealed at the tips. And to install your braids you're just going to need a simple crochet needle you can get for like a dollar at the beauty supply store. So now you are going to open your crochet needle and insert it through the root of your braid. You're going to attach the loop of the crochet braid onto the crochet hook and close the latch and you're going to gently pull it through the root of your braid, just like so. And then with the crochet needle open again, you are going to insert the end, the very tail end of the braid into the crochet hook and you're going to close that latch and you're going to pull the end of your braid through the loop of your braid and then you're gonna pull the braid all the way through and pull it all the way up until that loop is now at your scalp and that is the top of your braid. So now you're gonna open your crochet needle again and you're going to fetch your real hair to crochet it through the braid. So you wanna start at the very top, you wanna put your braid in it, close the latch and pull it through. It's either going to come through the top or the bottom of the braid. Whichever side it comes through, like mine came through the top right here, I'm going to now open that needle, grab that braid and pull it through down to the bottom. Then it's going to come out the bottom and I now want to crochet it through the top. I hope this is making sense and I'm not moving too fast. So you want to open your needle, grab that braid, pull it through. You want to open your needle again, Grab that braid and pull it through and you want to do that all the way down the braid and you want to go pretty close together because you don't really want any gaps and you're going to do that all the way to your ends until you can no longer see your ends of the braid and if your ends are kind of poking out you can always add a little bit of edge control or wax to it and this is kind of what it looks like when it's done. So I'm gonna keep it 100% real with you, Chief. I got to the second row and realized that this is a lot of work. You're essentially doing a double process. You gotta braid your hair and then crochet your hair. And for me, because I do know how to braid, I realized that it probably makes more sense just to do individual box braids. But I believe in teachable moments. So this is still a sure proof way that allows you to crochet your braids individually. 
but now I can show you guys how to undo it. So what you would do is you would just trim your braid, make sure to not cut your hair, you would unravel it, and as you see right here, you would just take a rat tail comb or use your finger, undo the loop, and then take your braid out, and that's how you will remove the braid. I still like individual crochet braids a lot better than I like crocheting onto cornrows, and the reason being is because you have a little bit more flexibility when styling your hair. And it's great for people that aren't the greatest braiders because the braid is already made for you. Since I'm super optimistic and I always look at my glass half full, I decided that this was the perfect time to create a part two to this video. Now show you guys how to do individual box braids from scratch with no crochet. So you get two techniques for the price and entertainment of one. And that video will be coming up soon. So if you found this video helpful in any kind of way, make sure you thumbs it up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and cut those notifications on so you do not miss part two. I'll leave everything that I use down in the description box below. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And God willing, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!